You might want to know why I did what I did. But if you were me, you would understand that sometimes I just don't know why I do things. So it's hard to explain. I just get this urge to do something and I do it. And before I know it, I am in very big trouble. My mum is always telling me I must think before I open my mouth. And then perhaps life will be a lot easier. She is probably right. But try telling my brain that. It doesn't think as fast as me. Another thing which is difficult to explain is why you isn't spelt you. And why Y isn't spelt Y. Spelling. Who knows where it all came from and why it has to be so difficult. Whoever came up with it must be a very strange person. You see, it all started with this spelling bee, which my teacher Mrs Wilberton organised. It's to see who is the best out of all the spellers. I am not a good speller. My head just doesn't have the room in it to remember spellings. All the things in your whole life which you want to remember. Like that trip my brother Kurt told me once about the cow on the telephone. And that and one time when we went on holiday and it rained like mad and we got soaked, um, we got soaked through to our vests and pants, including everyone. So spelling is not that important to me compared to these other things which are. Anyway, what I am telling you is spelling causes trouble. Hello, another assembly, more of me. Um, if you're getting really tired of these, uh, tough, I'm going to keep doing them. So, we're going to look at ambition and etiquette today. I hope we're all really, really good. Ambition and etiquette are two really important parts of our core concepts. So, I, I love a cartoon, but I really like the message behind a cartoon, especially this one here, about how, you think about what it's meaning. What is the meaning of this cartoon? Is it about, sort of, not to be closed-minded and to open yourself up to new opportunities? Is it about how, you know, having a wider focus, maybe, on what's going on around the world, not just having been tunnel-visioned? towards other things. Because sometimes I think we believe ourselves to be busy and we don't have time for something. Well, in actual fact, we do. That word perceive, we perceive, we may think. But sometimes it needs someone else to highlight to us uh, that there is time for the important things. And especially in the last three months, I hope for you, as it has for me, it's highlighted what is important and what I should be channeling my ambition towards and how I should be displaying positive etiquette to those people I care about because it's been a tough three months for a lot of us so as we move slowly towards what hopefully will be sort of a, a resolution the idea is to sort of use the last three months and learn from them so our ambition as a family so it's a family based assembly again um, is that when we all meet up is to be present not to give presents but to be present for each other okay because that's really important that you are present for your family and be present for one another and your friends because it's been a while. Um, and it's less emphasis on this, that's my brother, he is a, a huge exponent of his phone, and uh, more emphasis on this, of being around each other and talking and using those social skills again. Uh, and having the polite behaviour amongst each other, the etiquette, getting back into the swing of things. You know, the, it sounds really weird, but looking and talking and listening to someone might prove uh, a little bit of an issue initially because we haven't done it for a while face to face. So that's going to be a really important part of the ambition and etiquette we show when we all meet up again. That's our family's focus. Um, you know, I love my job and we all love our jobs here as teachers. We absolutely adore them. Okay, but I'll be honest, it can take over. It can get a bit much. And I let it happen. And if I let that happen, I wouldn't go to do these other things like go to the golf with my dad because I'd say I'm too busy working, I've got to get this deadline finished, I've got to get this done. Now I wouldn't be able to sort of... There's a very funny story to that picture that I can't tell, but safe to say that my sister wouldn't be very happy with me showing that picture. Um, but I wouldn't be present for all these moments. And, you know, my mum bought me tickets to go and see something and it was on a school night. And I made the decision, do you know what, I can go because it's important that I'm present for that situation. Um, uh, and my brother bought me tickets to go and watch some tennis in Nottingham and it, ha it happened to be sort of close to quite a, an important deadline. So I just managed my time and realised that it's important to go and see my brother. And, you know, last Saturday was Teddy's birthday and he was six. And 
to be frank, to be honest, I probably wouldn't have gone to visit him if it, at this time because it was very, very busy at work. We had lots of things due on. But I spent that Saturday with him, on FaceTime unfortunately, but with him to see what he was doing and to be present for his birthday. And that was really important. And as we move forward, that's what we want to do. Show the ambition to do that. So as siblings, as, as, a, as a group of brothers and sisters, we've decided no more presents for birthdays and Christmas. We're just going to make sure we make time. And that's really essential to us. Okay, we make time for one another, make time for our children. Um, yeah, we, we lock this one away as much as possible because he's a nightmare, but you love him. Uh, just please. And he's very comfortable with the microphone. But time for, to watch him go up, and time is the way we need to look at it, okay? That, that positive etiquette, the ambition for us to be there for one another. Because we always think about that, especially over the last three or four months, it's been difficult, it's been strange, it's been surreal, but we need to now clarify what's important in our minds. And, and that's a, an important part. And these people who we celebrate in our newsletter, whether they do work here or they're doing work at home, have shown that what's important. They're, they're clarifying that focus, they want to work hard because they know it's the right thing to do. You know, this artwork is absolutely fantastic. And if you haven't been on to the newsletter, then that would be a great thing to do on the, on the school website. You know, the pizza maker from Alex didn't receive the pizza, Alex, so come on, sort that out, please. Uh, off the back of this, all the rewards and all the positive outcomes of your work, we want to know. So the Acorns competition, you know, around our stage we have our, our tutor group Acorns, and you're awarded points for, not just for merits, but for sort of acts of integrity and morals as part of our core concepts. We need that information, so get it to us because we can collate it and get it into our final SMB when we can reward and oh, sorry, award the Acorns competition to the winning tutor group. So it's back with merits as well. So being awarded a merit for a teacher, get that information to us. These shout outs, I mean they're getting long at the whole page now. It's ridiculous how many shout outs we're getting, it's absolutely fantastic. There's some brilliant things on here, maths brackets general, we love that. Um, but Things like the hard work and attitude. That doesn't have to necessarily be about the learning they were doing and the work they were doing at home. It could just be that they did not for their hard work and attitude, just in general. That's brilliant. Positive etiquette. And our infinity nominations. And again, how much fantastic work is being done away from the academy and at the academy to, to nominate these people for our infinity awards, which is great. And our members of staff being nominated as well. Mrs. Carey, and even our our head teacher, Miss Wilkes, being nominated by the staff for how hard everybody's working. So it's been brilliant to see. Um, so we're going to move on. Next week will be a bit of a change to some of the little lessons. And then the week after that, all we're looking for you to have a look at is transition materials. So the idea of you're moving to your new year group and we're going to support you with lots of different things you could be doing here and at home. It's going to really help you as you transition from one year group to another year group. And that can be found here, under the infinity part of the little lessons. It does mean that a number of these little lessons, that's quite hard to say actually, um, will not be updated from the middle of next week because we're going to focus on transition just as we would do here at the academy. So that's important to go on that and have a look. You might not need to send anything back to us, but it's going to be really important work for you to do and helpful as well, really helpful. Because We've had a really successful pilot on Google Classroom, it's gone really well, so our next steps is to get everyone onto it. Okay, so apologies to Year 8, who are moving to Year 9, but this isn't necessarily for you guys. Um, but from the middle of next week, you'll be able to access your September 2020 tutor group. So that means if you're in Year 5, you'll be able to access a Google Classroom for your Year 6 tutor group. That means if you're Year 6, you can access your Year 7 tutor group. And year seven, you can access your year eight tutor group. And that's a way of getting you all onto the platform. And then that way we can start with the process of setting up subjects and the material and celebrating all the work learning you're doing and, and stretching and challenging you. So, the way to do that is how we've been talking about in these assemblies recently. It's all about this oakfordacademy.org email. That's what we need to be doing, okay? Making sure we have accessed that. As soon as you access that, from the middle of next week, you'll receive an email saying, please join this classroom. 
You click yes, and that video just there, and here, sorry, it's me again, shows you how to access Google Classroom. It's so easy and simple, but so brilliant in what it can provide us. Okay? So that's what we're going to be doing. This is how we're going to move forward with the teaching and learning here for you guys to make sure that you've got to act in the best possible deal. So, yeah, next week you will be invited. Remember, it's not this year's tutor group, it's September 2020, okay? So, message from staff, we've got a few. Miss Parsons, a massive thank you to all of the Oak Got Talent entries. Please don't send me more now, unfortunately, because the deadline's passed and they're collating and collecting and they're going to create a virtual show so we can all watch those fantastic Oakville Got Talent videos. Brilliant, well done, everybody. Um, Mr. Fowler, there's hired two PE challenges on the Oakville Academy YouTube channel. Okay, two PE challenges for you guys to do at home. They were recorded at school, they're really good. They're quite hard, actually, which is brilliant. We like that. Um, Mrs. Brian and Mrs. Hornby have sort of created a little message and some tasks for their five Pythagoras maths group. So go on the little lessons page for maths. Okay, ignore the throw, not four as well. Sorry, Mrs. Cross. <laughs> um, Mrs. Royden has highlighted again a castle competition for year seven. Get them into her, she's got loads of entries already, but she'd like some more to have a little sort of real good spread. And Miss Pullen would like to highlight PE little lessons because there's some lovely rounders and athletics activities that you could do at home it's going to really help you for um, moving forward with Peter. So that's brilliant. Thanks, everybody. Um, I hope you're staying safe and enjoying the ridiculously warm weather. Um, take care at home, online, and we'll see you soon.